comes from the Holy Ghost. The, by, by, by faith you're saved. And you receive strength from God as his child. You're a child of God. And he loves you enough to let the Holy Spirit be with you and warm your heart and build your faith. And But when you receive the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, you go to Jerusalem in Acts, the first chapter, yeah. verse 7, 6, 7, and 8. And he said, you tarry. Now remember, these men had not received the Holy Ghost as a gift because he had told them previously in the book of John, I am with you and I shall be in you. I am with you and I shall be in you. 17th verse. Verse 17. St. John 14, 17. You read? 14, 17. 14, 17, Lee? 14, 17. Read that. You know, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, get, get it in, because you've been trying now. Lee I'm and I, we Jimmy been over here, over here, we're so get it in. Happy, but I'm just going to say, you know, the Spirit of God drew me out of the world. That's how I got here. That's right. You know, no man comes to me except the Spirit of my Father draws. And the Spirit of God drew me, but did you know what? How can I not tell my experience and be excited about it? <laughs> Especially when I read this scripture. <laughs> For a whole year, I came and heard Brother Ross, heard Brother Marlow preach, and I wanted it so bad, I'd make an altar's call on Wednesday night, and we usually had a little of the service, the right beginning of it. But <laughs> I've got to read this, and then you read that one. But anyway, this is this. It says, when the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, Neither knoweth him. Uh, Spirit but of truth. ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. Well, I came here you. a whole year, sat right back here because the church wasn't built on that side I of there. And I long. cried, and I didn't think nobody was seeing me, and I just cried out to God, and, and I just had all kinds of experiences, and I felt God about every service. And then Brother Harry Pierce and... and, and uh, 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 Sister Othella and Brother J, well, especially J and D, Sheely, they, they, and and Brother Lee, Ro, 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 what was his name? But anyway, they prayed with me Wednesday night every week, every week, and I could never get nowhere. But I wanted it so bad because they'd get up and testify about your receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. But but right here in that 17th verse, see it come on me. Out there in that cow pasture, sitting on that tractor, I, I'd have to stop. I'd have to stop and cry out to God. I was bringing four little boys to church from from Fruitville. We'd pull over the side of the road and cry and touch God. We didn't know. And we fed it all over us. But I never had that and shall be in you until one night right about there. See, it can come on you, the Spirit of God what draws you that's the first thing touch your spirit you said and you see that see but it shall come on you and look at that verse 17 verse and shall be and shall be, be in, you. in you my God shall be what, in you, what a witness and right there that verse right there gave me that yes and then and, and, and then you're and then you're seal uh go to Timothy you don't got Timothy Second, two, Timothy two and 19 two and 19 Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. The seal. The seal. And let Holy every Ghost. one name it, the name of Christ, depart from iniquity. Yes, having this seal. The seal. Uh, let's, let's hold that word seal. seal. And let's go to Ephesians 1 and 13. Now, yeah, they got it on the screen here now. There's the court. That's conversion. When you see the court there, the brazen altar, that's conversion. Oh, that's nice. You're born again. The animal life of the old nature is burned there. That's when you let Christ have yourself like the beast, the beast nature that you are. We're, we're beasts. We're called beast in the Bible. Yes. Um, and, and, and our nature, our old nature, that's where the labor is lined with women's looking glasses that the priest looked in uh -huh. and saw himself. Well, the next thing when you offer your beast or your body to Christ, your old self, 
your own life. You look into the labor. Here's the labor right here. God's word. And you see yourself. And, and then you go in to the first veil. There was a veil there. And there was the seven golden candlesticks burning and which is the seven spirits of God. And there was a shoebread table or preserved manna that had two loaves on it. And here's our two loaves right here, the table of shoebread. And we have the seven spirits of God illuminating where the Holy Ghost is. Yeah. It's not out there in the court. Come on. It's not in the court. Come on. It's not just in conversion. You have to go into the baptism of the Holy Ghost. There's where the seven spirits of God is, illuminating. And then over in the corner of that uh, of that holy place, which Sister Marlo and I saw this, they, they have this set up, Israel does, in the wilderness. And we saw it. And she climbed up on a, uh, she climbed up, what was it, the side of the rock, remember when you, they, they didn't think you could do it. And uh, Sister Marlowe climbed up on the side of the hillside, rock, and I saw her, she like a mountain goat standing up there. And, uh, you know, and, and well, it's just, let's be honest, I had, my back was bothering me, and I went to the doctor, and he said to me, I don't know, um, he said, I'm not going to, it was a chiropractor, and she said, I'm not going to treat you because your back is so bad. I don't know how you walk. And when you go home, I don't want you to do your housework. I don't want you to walk. If you have your mailbox away, don't walk. Don't, don't, don't. don't and I thought, this. really? So we went to Israel, and I walked all over the place. She walked all over the place. <laughs> walked all over Israel. Praise I looked up there, and there she was. She clambered up on that. <laughs> Uh, hillside there, that rock, it was a rock, Israel is rocks, it's rocky, yeah. and uh, and she was standing there, and we, looked in, and we looked in that holy place, they have it pulled back, and in the corner of that is the golden altar. Golden altar. And thank God, we not only have the seven spirits, of, see out here is your bloody altar. Conversion is where the blood of Christ is. You're bloody when you leave the brazen altar. You, the blood has passed over you. The blood has anointed you. But when you go in that holy place of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and you're born of the water and of the Spirit, you see the table of shoe bread, your understanding. You see and feel the imprint of those seven spirits of God uh, given in uh, Isaiah, the 11th chapter, wisdom, counsel, might, knowledge, fear understanding and you feel those seven spirits in uh, Isaiah 11, 11. Uh, are coming at you touching your senses your inner senses your inner self yeah. and then you feel the, uh, you, you, you sense with your sense of smell your spiritual sense of smell because all five senses now are operating you have all your five inner man new man senses Complete. operating because you're entering into Christ, and Christ is entering into you. You're in the holy place. You're in the condition of second heaven. First heaven is conversion. Second heaven is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And third heaven is the holy of holies, or the sanctuary of the heaven of heavens. God the Father is in the Holy of Holies. That's where the two cherubims are. There's the wings touching, the Father, the Son, the mercy seat. That, that's third heaven, that's the place. That's not a condition. Baptism of the Holy Ghost is a condition. First heaven is a condition, conversion. But I, I, I use this expression, I'm gonna step on the spiritual elevator and say, third floor please. I, 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 I wanna go, I'm not gonna, this earth, is not my final home. I, I have another house. I have another home. But uh, when you look at that, the, the brazen altar, it was laden with incense. And it was burning. That incense was burning. So it was the most delightful smell that the human nostrils could ever smell when you went into that 
holy place. Um, well, when we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it opens our eyes to the two loaves, the table of she bread. We, our senses can feel the seven spirits of God. It may be when you're washing your dishes. It may be when you're doing a job. It may be when you're in, sitting in your living room. It may be here in the church where you need to discern something. But the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, fear, counsel, might, all these seven spirits, they're burning. And you can sense the light of them through your experience with God and Christ in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, th that's why uh, That's why. In uh, I wanted to get to Acts 1. Um, no, I wanted to get to Ephesians 1 and 13. But the natural building of this was all in the book of Exodus. Yes, if you, if you want to read a detailed, and it will be detailed, so do it when you get time to sit down and make notes, but st start in the 25th chapter of Exodus, and it'll be a day when you've got an hour to study. You've got a couple hours to study or something. You won't put it down once you start. But in Exodus, the 25th chapter, the book of Exodus, and start at the 8th verse or so, Exodus 25, where God told Moses, make me a tabernacle. A place of dwelling. That's it. And uh, uh, you be sure that you build this Moses according to the pattern that I will show thee in the mount. Exodus 25 and, and uh, verse 8 is it, Sister Marlowe. So Moses did not build that tabernacle from what Moses wanted to build. No, sir. Uh, Moses wanted to do. Moses was under the command of God. Now I can say this to us. When God instructs us, we can't do it the way we do it. No. We do it according to the pattern that he gives us, that he shows us. And whatever God's will is in your life for him to establish or to build, it's not going to be according to what you want to do. If it is, it's not what God wants to do. You get a you get a revelation, a revealing, an imprint of the Holy Spirit, and no, it's not what you want to do, how you want to do it. It's according to that sensory feeling of the five senses of seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing, and feeling of the inner man that is tuned by and uh, anointed by the Holy Ghost in you. That's the place of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost can give you a spiritual dream. You cannot dream a spiritual dream in the natural, with a natural man. You'll dream a, you'll dream a carnal dream. You'll dream a, a natural dream. You have a spiritual dream with a spiritual meaning that God tells you about, he instructs you in. Um, it will be from the Holy Ghost senses in you that speaks to you in the deepness of the night, the slumbering upon your bed. I love the book of Job, and I'm, I know I'm giving you a lot of scriptures, and it's getting, it, where did time go? It's 10 oh, minutes till 8. Good gracious. My goodness, I, we've been here uh, nearly two hours, my, my, my. Uh, but I, 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 well, I, I've got so many scriptures. Uh, Brother Darren. That, that uh, scripture that you were dealing with in the, Temple. That's a beautiful example, but you would need more than just a few hours to really study it. You'll need more than a few hours. Wood is a beautiful example. Thank you for coming, Brother Dean. He's going to take you. Be right bless you. All right. uh, you'll need more than a few hours. Uh, start in Exodus 25 and give yourself plenty of time and study how intricate, how precise God was, even with a measurement of the brazen altar, even with the measurement of the uh, uh, altars and the mercy seat and the cherubims, God was so exact. And my favorite thing is the mercy seat because that's where he said, I will meet with you. Isn't that wonderful, Sister Marlowe? Did you get that thought Sister Marlowe gave? That, um, the mercy seat is where God said to Moses, I will meet with you. 
not put that back, could you, Brother David, that, for that uh, the tabernacle, put it back on. I want to just make this. Um, again, the diagram. Anyway, in the, in the Holy of Holies, uh, where the two cherubims met with their wings touching. But they were made out of one piece of gold. But they were one piece. Yeah. God is one. God is one. God is one. I see exactly that is. God is one. Uh, that 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 one cherubim was made out of the other cherubim. They were they were they were touching, and he said, "You will make a mercy seat of pure gold." There it is in that holy of holies. And the two cherubims are touching, and God said, "You're above the mercy seat." And the mercy seat was a seat upon the top of the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. In which under you could see down through it, and in, inside of the Ark of the Covenant was Aaron's rod that budded, and Israel kept it. Yes. They didn't do away with Aaron's rod that budded. The, the, there was a concealed and hidden manna that was never seen by Israel, but it was kept in the mercy seat, and the tables of the law. The original tables of the law that God's finger wrote upon the mountain and gave to Moses, it was preserved in that mercy seat. And it was kept there in the Ark of the Covenant. And, and that was where the priest walked in once a year and took the blood that of the animal he brought from the brazen altar all the way in and sprinkled it upon the mercy seat. And a pillar of fire and smoke came down. How great God is. This great God. And enveloped the priest. Enveloped the holy of holies. And God spoke. And said, I'll give mercy and forgive Israel. And he went out with that. If a priest went into that, God was so precise with sin in his life. And had not fasted and prayed and washed his garments, he died. He never came back. How did they know he was dead? He wore golden bells around the hem of the skirt of his garment. And they... Oh, I'm sorry. We'll be here at midnight if I talk on all these types, and all these shadows, and all these pictures. I, I tell you, when those bells ceased, oh, Lord, the priest was dead. They didn't go in. They knew better. Teach me, Lord, to reverence you more. Teach me, Lord, to reverence your spirit more. Oh, last night, I said, oh, God, keep us in this. Bring this back again to us, Lord. Let the church touch you again. Let the church get the church get lost. We were lost in the spirit. We were hallelujah. We were lost in the spirit. You can get lost in the spirit. You can get so carried away with God till nothing else matters on this earth. Some people don't believe that, but because they've never experienced it. But if you've experienced it, you know that you lose track of everything else because the Holy God is watching over you and enveloping you. And I just, I, I was praying there when I knew Brother Johnson was by my side, but I couldn't really tell he was there uh, because we were one in the Spirit. The Holy Ghost was falling and God enveloped us. So I don't want to go into the Holy of Holies carelessly. I want the golden bells of my praise and my testimony around the hem of my garment to sound that I have not sinned. I am open before God. I am clean before God. Because I want to make the proper sacrifice because I want to feel the glory of God come down and envelop the mercy seat. And God say to me, you can go and have life. I receive you. I give you mercy. And that high priest would go back out and tell all of Israel. And they were camped around him uh, there in their tents. Sister Carol was talking about this. Uh, I believe the other day to me, I know we were speaking, uh, 